Hey there YouTube, it's Marvin here again. What's going on? I don't know if you guys can guess what's in front of me right now, but finally, finally it's here. By the way, yeah, like uh, I was outside and the UPS came and then, you know, I start unloading this box and then he asked me if I ordered TV. I said, no, I don't remember I ordered TV. And uh, when I see, yeah, when I see the <coughs> picture uh, in the box, it looks like an Apple or iMac said no I, I i i don't order apple or tv whatever and he uh, checked the name it's my name and then so i started to think what is inside the box it literally looked like an imac yeah and when i saw the ip66 right there so i guess oh okay yeah it's mine and i checked the name it's mine of course <laughs> As you can see the box there's no indication that this is the one that i've been waiting for except of that ip66 right so it's just like a regular box anyway i'm really excited and the, yeah so you know what let's take it inside and open the box and let's see how you know how beautiful is this all right guys i'm inside and uh, let's do it Keep this box. Keep this, keep this box for shipping in case of repair or return. But once you open it, you cannot return it. Alright guys, just be careful. Wait, wait, wait. Just be careful when you open the box. As you can see it's right there, right away. So hopefully it did not cut it. Wait, wait. Oh, oh. Wow. No wonder they doubled the box anyway. As you can see there's some marks right there. It's sitting there. It's just, the box is just too short for it. It should be at least you know like at least another two inches tall so if you cut this if you open the the box be careful not to cut so deep wow you think that it's a double box but this one is really and like you can see here there's a scuff marks already anyway so how it looks like and i kind of like the finish but let's see what this one first I think this is the I also ordered the fast charger but this is the regular charger and the AC cord I ordered the fast charger and also the Apollo bags hopefully they put it inside and I don't see it. I got the user manual and then some tools here. I don't know what is this for. Oh, there's a reflector. Maybe I have to install it later. And let's see how we kind of. That's how it is. I have to lock this. There we go. 
guys, if you guys want to buy Apollo scooter, I have my affiliate uh, link below in the description. And uh, if you click that link, you can also use my coupon code. The coupon code will give you $50 off before the taxes. So that's a good discount. So you can buy any scooter from Apollo using my affiliate link and use my coupon code, which will give you $50 off. And if you use that, I would really appreciate it. All right, so here we go. Ada, can you hold the box? You can hold the box, but be careful that uh, this is so heavy, I might hit you with it. Hopefully I'm warm. Can you take off the styrofoam? Okay, move. No, no, you don't have that. You don't have to take off that. Actually, you have to put it in the box. Put everything in the box. Sweating. It's so hot right now in Vancouver. My AC is on, but it's still hot. So let's put the box aside. And there you go. And that's all that comes with it the charger, reflector, user manual, and the scooter itself. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna install the two bolts that comes with it. Uh, the, there's a tools here, washer. And the uh, two reflector, I have no idea yet where to install this. But I'm going to read the manual, of course, and then figure it out. By the way, this is the uh, Apollo CD uh, 2022. It's a pro version, so it has like dual motor. Alright guys, so that's the only assembly that you have to do. There's uh, like two bolts here for the handlebar. And then of course you have to make sure that the wire is uh, tacked in properly so that it won't get damaged. For sure this is for the apps, the Apollo apps. And then let's peel this off. I'm just gonna keep this thing for... Right there. So that I can scan that on my cell phone later. I have no idea how to turn it on right now. As I said, like you, I, I think you need to install the application first before you can turn it on. Maybe. Just want to show you here, guys. This is the, this is drum brake, so quite really stiff. And uh, I think this is the region brake and the signal light. And this is the throttle on the right. And uh, yeah, signal light as well. So left and right, it has, it has like a separate button for the left and right. Oh, I think this is the power button right here. We can try to turn it on. Let's see. Oh yeah, there you go. <clears throat> see, like I kind of like uh, lazy to read the manual. Who reads the manual anyway? <laughs> but I will for sure. Anyway, that's the display. You can see right there. So. Let's see the light, the signal light. Oh, nice. I'll put the other one on the wheel, Dad. I don't know if it does have it. Have so, it. like, the signal light is also, like, it give you beep. And it's beeping as well, and then you can see the arrow here. So, you'll know that your signal light is on. Let's press one more. There you go. So, you have to turn it on, and to turn it off, it's just, like, press, press, and then it will turn on and off. There's, a like, a mini bell right here this is way better than the, compared to the bell that they put on Apollo Ghost all right so this is the lock you just press it down and then release it it beeps as well when you unlock it without turning it off so you can see the wire here is really protected 
This is I like this uh, uh, folding mechanism. It's really there. You go, and this is secure. That's it. All right. So I uh, I guess when you leave it on for a while without touching it, it will just turn it off by itself. As you can see right there, I think that's the beep that I hear. Alright guys, this is the thing that I noticed here, the one you fold it, this is the, the hook and you can hook it like this, but you cannot leave it like that, like you know the Apollo Ghost once you hook it, it's gonna stay hooked uh, to the eyelet here, but this one doesn't, so like if you leave it down like that, you just, so you see that, it's this thing is gonna touch the hook, so like it, it doesn't stay like uh, where the hook is, like the Apollo Ghost. So as you can see, it's just like, like that. So, all right, so this is my Apollo Ghost. This is uh, the thing that I'm talking about. When the Apollo Ghost is folded, I can leave it hook like that. And I can just leave it, I can just like leave the scooter anytime I want and it doesn't go anywhere, as you can see. By the way, I did some upgrades with my Apollo Ghost, uh, hydraulic brakes, handlebar some throttle if you want to see the video the link is uh, at the top right corner all right guys so that's how it is compared to apollo ghost apollo ghost of course has a wider deck and uh, yep it's uh, the handlebar uh, the stem actually they are about the same height if uh, uh, you put it up uh, right all right so as you can see they are almost the same it's like I would say, yeah, like uh, the uh, uh, CD Pro is like about two inches uh, taller. There you have it, guys. There's a quick unboxing of the uh, Apollo CD 2022. It is Apollo CD Pro with a dual 500 watts uh, motor. Okay, so I'm gonna charge it up and then I'm gonna do the test ride, and then that's gonna be my next video about the Apollo uh, scooters. And uh, probably gonna compare the uh, how it's uh, how the ride compared to Apollo goes, and uh, yeah, the comfort and the suspension. Again, if you guys wanna buy Apollo scooters, please use my uh, affiliate link uh, in the description below, and I will really appreciate that. And you can use my uh, 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 coupon code, discount coupon code, that's uh, gonna give you fifty dollars uh, off on any scooter with Apollo. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.